A Roy City business may have to shut its doors after 40 years, and owners say that it's a text dot project that has made it, in their estimation, next to impossible for customers to find them. So they called our Kristen Severance, trying to get a little bit of consumer justice. And, and what's interesting is we talked a little bit about this before going on the air. You got lost on your way to the interview, and yeah. this is for real. Oh, this is 100% for real. And we knew that there was construction going on. It took us 30 minutes to even find the place. The business is located off I-30. So you're supposed to take exit 82 off I-30. You turn left under a bridge, and you drive a quarter mile to Four Brothers Outdoor Power. But now, Texton has blocked off traffic under the bridge. So you have to get back on the interstate. You go four miles, you do a U turn, then you drive four miles to the business. But, that, but what's really unclear is that you have to take an access road when you do that U turn. Most people stay on the highway, they drive right past the business, which is exactly what we did. And in the day and age of people like, need this much attention span, right. and, if you, and if I go beyond that, I'm out, yeah. uh, that's not good. So, is there any tangible way to measure, uh, you know, it's one say to say I'm losing business and, and you might think, yeah, they probably are, but is there a tangible way to measure it? Oh yeah, they're down. They're really down. They've laid off three people so far. They say if this continues, they'll have to fire dozens more. They may not survive this. Business is down 60%. Wow. They say new customers who can't see the place, you know, oh, new customers who see the place can't just pull over and stomp in. Right. And longtime customers are, are so lost getting there, they give up. So, and they also, you can appreciate this. Uh, they have all these lawn mowers. They have all these weed eaters. They have all this inventory they aren't selling that they now have to pay interest on. Sure. Yeah, they have to floor plan that. So the, the, those people have to pay for that that sits in their stores. Yes. So they're not making money, and then they have to pay all this extra money. And, and the bridge and the access road aren't the only problems. Right. Yeah. Tonight and, at ten, uh, we'll have a lot more on this story. Well, well, because I think that story also represents they're not the only business in this kind of corner when it right. comes to construction that blows up around them. Yeah. Look forward to seeing you tonight. Yeah. Kristen, thanks very much. You need consumer justice? Anytime, give her a call. She's willing to look into it for you, 817-586-7211. Or you can email consumerjustice at ktbt.com.